guys, it's Jarrell here from j Music. Be sure to like and subscribe here on the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know these episodes are coming out. And today, we are talking about the album review for the Foo Fighters' recent album, but here we are. I know the album came out, I want to say, uh, last week, if I'm not mistaken, but wanted to take some time with the album just so I could curate this for you guys. Uh, so, when it comes to the album, right, when it comes to but for Here We Are, it's 10 tracks, um... And I did like it. I did like it. It has an interesting, obviously it's a concept album. Um, a lot of it is to do with Taylor Hawkins, at least I, I would guess, right? Just because of that, unti that awful passing. And it's definitely exemplified or shown through the lyrics, through the moods of the song. It's interesting how the album is arranged because the first few songs are in fact the singles right so when you have rescued um under you you know you have these tracks that definitely are radio friendly songs right so you have these you have these tracks that are singles for everyone else and then as the album goes on it gets a lot more it gets more just personal right it gets personal more into detail where a lot of those songs are really Honed specifically talking about it in depth talking about it in depth um so it's it's very interesting how they approach the the, the sequencing of the album where the first few tracks are singles you know and then the back half is very much you really feel this grieving process throughout the album which i find really interesting um there's some really good tracks on there. The singles I do enjoy quite a bit. Under You, Rescued. Um, there's a song before the glass. Oh, my phone on me, so I can't look at it. You will see the Spotify to the left of me. Um, but I want to say it's before the glass. Um, really powerful. Really powerful. The Teacher, a really powerful one. Rest is really powerful, too. You really feel this grieving notion for that song as well. Um, and as far as just from an instrument basis, you know, Josh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the new drummer. The new drummer. Uh, I want to say his, his first name is Josh. Uh, he does a great job. He does a great job drumming. You know, he definitely does the band justice. You know, as far as just the quality of the music that they have been producing for this time uh, and delivering, I should say, performing. Uh, but he does a great job. He does a great job. So, you know, he, he kills it with everything that he does. Wondering if he's going to stay on for future albums. Uh, but he does a really great job for for the album. Everything else is on point, too. You know, the rhythm guitar for the other people that are doing rhythm guitar for the album. Uh, vocally. You know, Dave Grohl kills it as well. I think he does a really good job. You can really sense the pain in his voice on the back half of the album, I feel like. I feel like he really kind of shows that raw emotion. And rightfully so, right? I mean, you're, they lost a great friend, right? Not just a drummer, but a great friend. And you really sense that uh, in the album, especially Rest. Rest, the teacher, you really get this grieving notion Um so that was a really powerful album. It's probably one of my favorite albums that they've made in a while. In a while. Um, you know, even the album that they recently won a Grammy for, it didn't connect with me as much as I thought it would. I know they did it in, um, I forgot whose basement they did it in, uh, but they won a Grammy for that, for Best Rock Album. Uh, this is a really powerful album. I think it's really great. So I definitely recommend it. I think it definitely does. Um, I think Foo Fighter fans, while they are grieving still, I think they're really going to enjoy the music because it's quality music. So shout out to you guys. Shout out to the Foo Fighters. And uh, yeah, so definitely check out the album. Again, J-Pod Music, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll catch you guys next video.